Hello. Today we're gonna we're going to complete a ground state electron configuration of an element using orbitals. Okay. An orbital is a, a specific area in which two electrons are held. If we go back to um, the review of the table itself with electron configuration, we know that this is energy level one, two, three, all the way down to seven. And we know that this is the S sub level. We know that this is the P sub level. We call this P, we call this S. And the middle one, we called this the D area. And of course, the bottom one is the F. An orbital is an area in which two electrons are held. Therefore, the S holds one orbital. The D area with 10 blocks, 10 columns, holds five sublevels. One, two, three, four, five. And the P holds three. One, two, three. Each orbital holds a maximum of two electrons. And the electrons spin up and down. Therefore, you have electrons spinning up first and then down. And the F, of course, that we said has seven orbitals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the same thing we go for the for the electrons spin up and spin down. Okay, so now that we know how they spin, now that, that we know how they're divided, we will do an electron configuration of element phosphorus. Keep up with silicon instead. Okay. So I begin with 1s2 all the way to 3p2. 1s2, 1s2, 2s2. Six and I go to three is two. Let me erase this over here to make more space. Three is two, and then I end up with uh, three P two. Three P two. If this is the electron, the ground state electron configuration of phosphorus. Now I will add the orbitals. Everything before the 3p2 is filled up. So I go here with the one orbital on the s, one on the s, and I go one, two, three orbitals on the p region, and I have one orbital here on the s, and I have here one, two, three. I will fill that up with the electrons now. One spin up, one spin down. One spin up, one spin down. Here I have six. Here I have two. And on my P, I have a total of three orbitals, which means I could occupy up to six electrons. However, I only have two electrons to be concerned about. And they spin up first. One up, one up. Okay, so this is the ground state electron configuration of silicon, in which I have a total of 14 electrons. Let's count. I have two, two, and six gives me 10, and two more gives me 12, and two more on the 3P gives me a total of 14 electrons. Ground state electron configuration of silicon using orbitals okay what if i want to do the ground state electron configuration of phosphorus again and i want to use a shorter shorter method in getting there okay i'm going to call this the ground state electron configuration of phosphorus however 
I will be using the noble gases. Let me erase this orbitals. Make more space. My target is this is still silicone, so no for silicone. So silicone, I will use I want to use noble gases. And what I do, I go from silicone one up and all the way to the right. Okay. What that gives me is neon. If I do this, neon, now that represents 10 electrons, which means I don't have to do this, do this, or that. I'm starting from here now. What is left over is 3s2 and 3p2 ground state electron configuration of silicon using noble gases what if i want to add the orbitals to this i could do that there is one orbital on the s two electrons one up one down and there is one two three total of three orbitals on the p region and i have one spin up one spin down Okay, so on the red on top of this chart, you have the ground state electron configuration of silicone complete from the beginning. That's in the red. Okay, let me move this over. And what you see on the green at the bottom, starting with neon, is the ground state electron configuration of silicone with the help of noble gases, which means I began at neon, which represents three, three, uh, 10 electrons. And then I have only left the 3s2 and the 3p2. Okay, and uh, these are two little things that will help you out greatly. I hope this helps you out.